back to my channel. My name is Karin. I'm from Extraordinary Fitness. And today we are going to look at a dynamic uh, transmission. So it's from the back of the hoop to the front. I have been getting requests about it. And I think it's a very good thing to learn. First of all, you can train dynamics. You can train the bell beat, which is similar on the rope, on the silks and on the hoop. And you can as well come, once you are hanging in the back, you can come forward again if you are not ready to do a catch and release. For example, on your stomach or if you are not ready to catch down, grab the hoop on the bottom part, then this one will be good for you. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, tag me on Instagram, extraordinary.fitness and share it with others. So a lot of people can use it and our community is growing. I will show you first the beat, which is called bell beat, which you can use for coming forward again. So normally we have been doing front and back beat, but this time we are going to do a sideward speed. So if you would start behind the hoop, however you come there for now, you're hanging in the back and your temps, you have to think that you're going sideward. So you actually never do anything else. No twisting, no turning. It's only your from the hip, your legs are going to the side as much as you can go to the side not more so you are kind of going as far as you can sideward the um, feet itself starts basically from here so your upper body is kind of straight your whole body straight and then you just go to the side the legs are apart as you could see they are never going together so your legs are always keeping apart start with bell start to feel the sideward thrill and then if you want to lift one leg higher for a visual picture or something you can do that but start with having the legs like this parallel and feeling the, the beat, the weight, the energy. I will show it to you one more time. And then I show the next step. For the bell beat, you start behind the hoop. For example, you can also be in front of the hoop just for training the beat. Arms are parallel and you have to think that your entire body stays like this. So you are bending from the hip, your legs go to the side and they're staying parallel. You never close them and you just beat. When you go through, what happens is that when your legs come back, you are bending your knees up pointing them through and going back into the beat. So you stay there, come from the side, take your knees up, think you want to get your knees almost to your armpit in this height, then you straighten the legs through and you come, you continue in the bell beat. So this is basically the pathway. So up here, straighten and continue. Of course, you have your arms not bent. What you have to think if you want to pass your legs is that when you come out from the bell beat from one side, you have to get your knees to your shoulders up and then straighten them just in front of the hoop and then you continue your bell beat. So basically like this. You could do the same here again. So you could actually pass from the back to the front. What you have to think is get your knees up, your knees up to your shoulders, straighten the legs in the front and go back down. Mistake which happens when people start to train this is that when they want to go to the other side, like when the bell beat is happening, they have straight arms. But once they are wanting to pass, what happens is they feel like if they pull themselves, they get easier through, which means they have kind of a pull up position. And once they go down there, they would drop it. And also they would drop into their shoulders. So this is really important. And this is number one mistake. Don't bend your arm. So stay with long arms, get your knees up, let the gravity, let the weight of your body come up to your knees, pass, and then go down again smoothly. So if you slightly bend your arm, that's one thing, but really don't do a pull up, don't pull yourself through because you will break your speed on the other side, you will break the tempo. And this is the entire thing. So you can use the illusion, which I showed you the other week, one of the past weeks, to come to the back, change into the bell beat, and then go to the front again. So you can start to play around with dynamics. It's really interesting and it is a good thing to learn for also catch and release for anything else. So. I really hope you like this tutorial. I hope you give it a try. If you do it, tag me. If you have any questions, leave them below and see you next week for a new tutorial. Bye and thanks for watching.